Alright guys, so we are currently on OP Legends. We're about to play the Skyblock Utopia Realm, which is basically Skyblock UHC, if you don't know. As you guys can see on the scoreboard, it actually has like 450 players on, which is insane. So, I think it's about to open. Oh, it's already open, so let's go. Uh, no, it's actually whitelisted, it says for me. Um, I don't know. I'll just bring you guys back when we get in the server, though. Alright guys, so we just got into the server. We are now in the Skyblock Utopia Realm. I'm just gonna throw my armor quick. Uh, I do have kits, I'm pretty sure, so if I go to rank kits, I think, um, I don't know where it is, actually, it might be in here, do we get, like, a, I think I get a YouTube rank, so, yeah, the server is really laggy, actually, because there's a lot of people, I don't know if I actually get keys, do I get, like, a slash reclaim or something, yeah, I'm not sure, but I'll bring you guys back when I figure it out, alright, so I'm not even gonna worry about getting my keys yet, so I'm gonna go slash is create, or not create, create, I think that's how you do it. Um, unknown command, touch is. Uh, all right, that's how you do it. So we're gonna go original or cave. I'm gonna go with the cave one. I feel like the original one is kind of boring. So this one's already got some builds. I don't know, can I fly? Do we have a slash fly? Oh yeah, we do actually, that's pretty cool. So this is a pretty big area. We have a lot of room to build a lot of stuff. So can we do like Aya's name, rename? Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna invite some of my friends. I as invite, is that how you do it? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna start inviting people. Alright, so there's some chests here, these are empty. Uh, I'm just gonna toss this loot in here for now. Uh, if I do slash pass though, we have uh, challenges that we actually have to do. So the first one, make a cobblestone generator and mine 250 cobblestone. So, oh, and we get rewards from it. Oh my god, that is so loud to chat. Is there a way I can disable that? There's so many people buying stuff. But yeah, if I do slash pass, uh, we get 64 wheat seeds, which is actually for the farm. You can't buy seeds, so you have to do the challenges to unlock them. So I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to get started on the challenges here. So I'll bring you guys back when we have a cobblestone gen built. Alright, so I'm now here at warp crates, and uh, I think I just have the crates automatically assigned to me. I have four of these now. I don't really know. I, I was just at three a second ago, so I think I just keep gaining them. I don't really know how, though. So we're going to go ahead and open these. First, uh, we'll just open all four. Alright, first slot, let's select these, let's see what we get, come on, we need some spawners, some money would be helpful, boosters, anything out of here is pretty good, so we got, ooh, one mil, we got two endermen spawners, which isn't bad, and another, oh, no, no, this is the mil we got originally, so, we should have one mil now, if I do such bow, yep, we have a million dollars now, there's so many people buying stuff, this is crazy, guys. But yeah, I do have such kits, so I think, if I go into seasonal kits, I have the bishop kit one, so... I got 75k, and I got some XP, so I should be able to just right-click that. Yep, and now I'm already level 74, as you guys can see in my uh, XP bar, so I'll do such kits again. I think I get this one, too. I don't really know what I get. More XP and a little bit more money, and then I get the Citizen one, so I get 25k and even more experience. So, we're almost level 100 already, so that's insane. I also get my rank kit, so I'm probably only going to use this one for now, just get the iron armor and the... The loot from it, that kind of thing. So if I just go slash is home, I think, or is, uh, is go. Okay, that's how you do it. So if we go back to our island, I'm just going to kind of store a lot of this stuff in here for now. And then I'm going to work on building that cobblestone generator so we can uh, start working on the missions. All right, so we finished the cobblestone generator. And if I do slash pass, I have a lot of cobblestone I'm going to have to mine. So I'm going to take like five minutes probably and just kind of sit here and start mining the cobblestone. It goes pretty quick, actually, like... It generates really fast, so I should just be able to sit here and like hold down my left click. And we've already got like 22 mines, so actually this will go pretty quick. So we actually get 64 wheat seeds from this, which will be really good. So then we can start on making our farm. So yeah, I'll just bring you guys back when we have that finished. Alright, so if I do slash pass, I think I mine enough. Yep, so it's complete. So if I click it, I think I get the wheat seeds. So we can start on the farm now. So the next one, I think, is vote three times. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We got catch 25 fish, kill 50 spawner mobs, and farm 35,000 wheat. That's going to take a while. Wow. We actually get potatoes if we do this one. So that will be good because potatoes pretty much sell for more, I think. If I do slash shop, go into the farming shop, um... So wheat sells for $24 each, and potatoes sell for $54, and carrots, which are like the best, they sell for $94, which is almost $100, which is actually, that's pretty insane. But I realize I am a nitro booster on the server, so if I do slash Discord, I nitro boosted their, um, their uh, Discord server, so I can get a daily reward, I think, which is two vote keys, I think, so I should also be able to claim the nitro reward, which is a nitro key, okay. Okay, so if I do slash crates now... 
I have two vote keys and one of the nitro keys. So I'm going to open this one. Three mystery wumpuses. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we get from this. Hopefully we get something good. We got, let's see, two creeper spawners. Okay. We got 750k. That's really good. And a bunch of XP. So I'll take that actually. So throw that down. 117. We're level 117. I'm going to take this bank note as well. We're up to 1.9 million. That's, that's, wow. That's insane. All right, if I do such crates again, we actually have some more crate keys. I have another loot key, so let's open this one real quick. I think they're doing a lot of key alls, so we're getting a lot of key from that. We got, ooh, another 750k. That is actually really good. I will take that. If I do such bow, we are at, uh, wait. Oh, I got the bank note. I forgot. So if I claim the bank note, we are at 2.65 mil. Oh, my God. Okay, so I have these two vote keys. I'm going to open these. We got two of them, so let's see what we get from this. Hopefully something good. Ooh, that's a summoner, I think. We got a cow spawner, which, eh, I don't think that's very good, honestly. Let me do such shop. How much is a cow spawner worth? Uh, cow. 500k, okay, yeah, that's not that good, but it's a vote key, so there's not much to expect. If I do such PV1, we have all these spawners now. This is all the spawners we got from my keys and some of the other island members' keys. I also went mining a little bit. I'll show you guys that later, but I got some of these mine shards, Spartan essences, and auto cell chunk chests, which are pretty cool. So we have six Enderman spawners, two Iron Golems, another two Iron Golems. We have a Blaze, two more Blaze, four Creepers, and a Cow. So that's actually really good. All right, so I just voted three times. If I do slash pass, you guys can see I've completed the voting challenge. So if I click this, I'll get another vote key, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So slash crates, we now have four of them because I voted three times plus the one I got from the reward. So I'm just going to go ahead and open all of these. So we got four of them. Let's see what we get. Hopefully something good. We've been opening a lot of keys also, so <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of keys. A bunch of XP. Okay, so we got 5,000 XP and 50k and 100k. I'll take that. Money's never bad, so got about 150k and 5,000 XP, so that's not bad. I also have to do my fishing mission. That's the next one. I have to catch 25 fish, and if I do it, I get a lure to book. So we have a little pond right here, and uh, I'm pretty sure you can catch fish in this. We'll see, though. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and fish and try to catch some fish for a... Uh, my mission but yeah, i'll bring you guys back oh i got one i think oh yeah i got one i got seaweed <laughs> does that count towards my thing yeah it does okay that's cool all right so if i do slash pass i've completed the fishing mission now i'm not gonna bore you guys with um just individually coming back and doing all these missions i'm gonna start working on all of these and i'll just do some kind of like progress updates and stuff so i do have a lure to rod now from completing that if i go over here we have actually set up our iron golem farm there is uh two iron golems in here i think and we got how many in here i don't know i think it's two i think i i think we have six in here but they're like stacked i don't really know how to view them but there's like either four or six in here i'm not really sure but it is producing iron which is making us money if i grab this it's only been up for a couple minutes so i do such shop we go into minerals i think we can sell this for how much did i sell that for did it say in chat um i have no idea how much i just sold that for but yeah i'm pretty sure it made a good amount so yeah this is gonna start making us money we have an account afk here so yeah basically is how it works is iron golems spawn over here and they just drop down in the lava and since iron golems are like three blocks high they like burn in the lava they also stand in the water so then they're dropped when they die they just flow down here like you can see right there and then we got a hopper right here just bleeding into a chest so yeah it's pretty good we have a pretty good grinder going we're gonna work on buying more spawners uh let me do such crates do i have any keys yes i do i have two loot keys and i have a grind crate okay so we're gonna open that i think these are actually pretty decent so let's see if we can get something good out of this one we got five thousand dollars okay that was really bad <laughs> i'll claim it though uh crates i'm gonna open these two loot crates uh hopefully get something good out of these there's been a lot of crate key alls. i don't really know why i think it's because the vote parties or something you get like free keys when people vote so i got a double enderman spawner and 500k so i will take that that's pretty good all right so it's currently like two and a half hours into the map and we've started on our wheat farm right here it's just a pretty small wheat farm we're gonna change this up later because it doesn't look that good it's just a big farm right now so we're probably gonna change that up later i added a little walkway to our uh, mob grinder that we set up so you can kind of just sit here and you can grind up mobs and stuff if you want and then if i go down here i'm gonna make like a little drop down too so you can do these chests easier but all the loot goes into here and they have hoppers here so we have tons of pearls blaze rods gunpowder all that stuff so 
We're getting a ton of mob loot. We set up pig spawners. I did my um, kill 50 spawner mobs mission, so that's what this was used for. I'll probably end up moving that later. And I'm gonna move bees in a second here. Might as well just kill them. But um, I'm gonna move this. Probably just get rid of this whole box here. But I put spawners. I put the spawners in here because there's some endermans here. I put them in this grinder. I'm gonna also end up decorating the island a little more, kind of like I did with this glass. I want to add around these boxes maybe put glass so it looks a little cooler maybe do something over here and i want to make the farm look a little nicer so yeah i'm gonna get to work on decorating and moving the grinders all right so it's been quite some time since i recorded the last clip so sorry about that but this is the current progress we have on the island we fixed this up a little bit i added a nice dome around the farm i think it looks really good there's other entrances over here which is going to lead to another farm which i'm working on right now uh we just have to um Put down the seeds and stuff also over here we have the same thing if i fly over here there's another little entrance and then i gotta put water in here i'm gonna work on that in a minute i got buckets on me and everything but yeah this whole part is gonna be a big wheat farm i'm gonna put the dome around these sides as well so it looks a little nicer but yeah i think i already showed this off we got the igs here and then if i dig in here I'll, i might as well just show off these spawners i'll dig in the corner uh we have a ton of spawners here we have one double blaze we have one double creeper three double endermans two regular blazes five regular creepers and eight regular endermen so we have a lot of spawners right now so things are going pretty well but yeah something i do want to do is i want to expand the iron golem farm so if i do such shop one iron golem is two million dollars which is that's actually really expensive and let me check how much is it to upgrade one i think it's uh oh my god eight million to upgrade okay that's two so it is uh four million to upgrade one and then six million to triple it okay so basically if you triple it or double it that's like i'm pretty sure it drops double the amount a normal one or triple the amount a normal uh, iron golem would so it drops more iron so it's producing in here i need to get my alt on because nothing's really afking up here um because you need to alt to afk the spawners so I'm probably gonna get my alt here and probably another alt here to afk these two chunks so the spawners are being afk but yeah that's the current progress it's like let me think like seven hours into the map or so right now uh so we're doing pretty well i'll just bring you guys back uh in the next clip all right so as you guys can see we actually finished uh planting all the uh wheat seeds so over here this is way bigger over here so we have all these wheat seeds now which is insane i'm gonna be afking all these so they grow while i go to sleep and uh if i do such pass i'll show you guys the progress i have on this challenge this is gonna take me forever to finish the uh, wheat challenge after the farm 35,000 wheat and I'm only at like 2,000 so it might take me a while but also if I do such skills you guys can see that my farming skill is actually at level 9 now and if I click to view the skill it will uh, I think it's at like somewhere down here yeah farming 25 100% auto replant chance so that means pretty much if I break a crop as you can see probably it's only sometimes that it'll replant it uh, like that one just replanted there. It's only a 40% chance. That means once I get to level 25 on my farming skill, it'll replant every single time. It's a guarantee. So that'll be super nice to have. But yeah, it's pretty late for me now. I'm going to go to sleep. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back tomorrow.